Well, hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're making some paper flowers. Well, it may seem like an odd thing to do on the show, paper flowers, but yet I thought it could be fun. And truth be told, I was provided with some samples of their products from Spectro Coatings Corporation, and one of the products they provided me with to try out here on the show was pre-flocked paper. Now, you could put it inside the boxes and stuff like that, but I was trying to think of some other way that we could use it. And then my wife suggested making paper flowers. So, well, you know what, let's head over to the bench and I'll show you what we've got. Now, one of the types of flowers I'm going to show you today is a rolled flower and for that you need a pattern and my wife had a few patterns in an SVG file now I would like to credit the original designer but I don't know who it is and there was no uh, identification at all on any of the patterns so what I've done is I've converted this to a PDF so that we could print it out and what we're going to do is we're going to take a simpler version of this pattern and I'm going to use spray adhesive and glue it to some hardboard. From there, we're going to take it over to the scroll saw and cut it out. And when you're done cutting, you should end up with something that looks like this. Now, what do we have? Well, what this is, is a tracing template. Um, the point here is that I didn't want people who did not have access to a Cricut cutter to be left out of this project. So by cutting one of these, you're able to trace your design onto your paper. Now you can use whatever kind of paper you want to make these flowers, but for me, I'm going to be using some of these 12 by 12 squares of pre-flocked paper from Spectro Coatings Corporation. So all I need to do is place my tracing template or my cutting template onto the back of our paper and we're just going to trace all the way around it. And once you get it all traced, all you need to do is cut it out and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend that I cut this one on hand, I have access to a Cricut machine. So I used an SVG file to have the machine cut this for me. But if you don't have one, this could be the way to go. You can use an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors to cut out this pattern. So what I've done is I've made this little tool for rolling these flowers. It's simply just a quarter inch piece of dowel. It's about eight inches long. I have a one inch long piece of three quarter inch dowel that I've drilled a hole through the middle. And right in the end of our quarter inch dowel, I've cut a slot right down through the middle of it. Now, full disclosure here, I have never done this before. <laughs> My wife tried to encourage me to practice before doing it on film, but nah, you know what, I can do this. So let's see how it goes. What you wanna do is take this end here of your pattern, this is actually the bottom of our flower, and you want to insert it in that slot, just like that, so that it bottoms out against your three quarter diameter dowel here. Now for me, I want to turn it so that the flock side is to the inside. So all we're going to do is just rotate this, and that, piece of three quarter inch diameter dowel is going to help you to align the bottoms of your um, pattern because you want those all to be in line. There we go, just like this. And you want to keep rotating it until the entire pattern is wrapped around that quarter inch dowel. And when you get to the end here like this, you're going to stop. Well, at this point now, you can remove this from your tool. Just give it a little wiggle and it should come right out. There we go. And I know it doesn't look like much, but at this point, you want to release it and let it unroll a bit. And by doing that, this is the bottom of your flower. So you want to make this roughly that diameter. So we're gonna let it unroll until we get it to be that diameter roughly. And it may take some finagling. 
that's okay. Okay, I'm going to re-roll it because I don't like the way that worked out. <laughs> Maybe my wife was right. Maybe I should have practiced. Okay, let's give this another try. I'm good at this part. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's try this again. So the problem with that last one was that it was too loose in the middle. I didn't want it that loose. It didn't look quite right. So we're just going to let this loosen off a little bit. Try to keep that center a little tighter. Okay, and once we get that done, what we want to do now is place hot glue on these coils right here and fold this circle over so that it glues it to our flower. And now taking this tool that we made, we're going to curl our petals. Just one by one. We'll go around curling them over just to give them a little more realism. And then the ones in the middle, you can just curl them by hand. All right, check that out. Isn't that nice? We'd like to get the center a little tighter, but for a first attempt at a first try, I think that turned out pretty nice. So we're going to do one of the other patterns here. So let's try it again and I'll show you a different flower to make. Now this one here is, again, uh, the same process, the same way. All you need to do, just like we did with the other one, place this inside your slot and then roll it along to keep it even with the with that piece of one inch dowel that's there, or sorry, three quarter dowel that's one inch long. So we're gonna roll this whole thing up. And I think this one might be more of a, of a daisy type of a flower. That's the way it kind of looks to me. I'm not 100% sure, I'm not a flower guy. Okay, so we'll just carefully take this out of our tool here. Just like that. All right, and same thing. We're just going to let it loosen up just a little, not much. And then we can apply our glue to our coils once we're happy with how they're all lined up there. Apply our glue to our coils and we'll glue our end over top like that. And once the glue cools, Again, we can curl our petals just ever so slightly. We don't need to do a lot on this one, I don't think. And then you end up with something that looks like that. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, so there's one more here that we can do, and that is this pattern here. And again, it's done in the same way. So let me get this one done, and I'll show you what the final result of this one is. Okay, and once it's dry, again, you can just, you can use the tool that we made or you can use your fingers, whatever you like. And we're just going to curl these petals outward. I mean, you can curl them and shape them as much as you like. And you end up with something that looks like that. So I think for a first try, I think these turned out pretty nice. And I'm pretty sure that the more that you work with it and the more you, you play with them and get used to the procedure, I think the nicer the flowers get. But what if you don't have the patience to cut out these patterns? What if you don't have a cricket? Can you make paper flowers? 100% yes. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So for this other type of flower, we can put away all of our tools here, get these flowers out of the way, and I have a sheet of blue flocked paper. So the first thing I want to do is cut four four inch by four inch squares. Take one of your squares and we're gonna fold it diagonally. We're gonna do this three times. So there's one, there's 
two, and we'll do the same thing with this one. Here we go, there's three, just like that. And now with our fold down here, we're just gonna draw kind of like a petal design. So we'll just do maybe like that. And then once you draw your petal design, you can cut it out. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. So do that for each one of your four pieces. Okay, so we can get rid of the off cuts. And now what you wanna do is take one of your squares and you can see that there are dividing lines where we folded it. So on the first one, cut out one of those sections along those fold lines. On the next one, cut out two. On this next one, cut out three. And in this last one, I'm sure you know where this is going. Cut it in half or cut out four sections. So what we're going to do is take our first piece that has the one section cut out of it. We're going to apply a little bit of hot glue and we're going to fold it over like this so that each end section overlaps itself like that. And then we can glue that in place. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next section. And then the next and the next and the next so forth and so on. These smaller ones here, you'll have to kind of roll them up and then glue them. But eventually you'll get them all glued like this and then come back and see me. Okay, so with each one of those glued, we're now going to take each section of petal and we're just going to curl them just like this okay and once you get that curled you can curl the next one like that okay and now progressively now starting with the largest one we're going to put a little bit of hot glue in the middle and then we can glue our next section right in the middle of that and then our next section along, again, we'll give the edges just a little bit of a curl. You don't need a lot. And we can put a little bit of hot glue on the tip here. And we'll glue this one into the middle of our other ones. And we'll just carry on until all of our pieces are glued together. And of course, you can shape this as much or as little as you like. Uh, giving the petals more curve or more shape gives it more realism. So it's up to you how much you want to do that. But there you go. There's another one. That's, that's really nice. I like that. And there you have it. Paper flowers. Guys, I want to stress again that I did not design these patterns. Um, hopefully by the time the show airs, I will be able to figure out who it is that did design them so I can give them credit down in the description below. Um, but for now, I have no idea who designed these. They were just free on the internet and my wife found them ages ago and they appeared on today's program. Either way, these are some beautiful results. For someone who was a first timer and I'd never done it before, they really came out nice. And don't be discouraged if you don't have the Cricut. As I showed you at the beginning of the show here, you can cut out a template for tracing and cut out your own using scissors or knife or whatever you want and still get the same results. If you don't want to go that road and you want an easier one, the one that I did at the end with the folding up the squares of paper, it's gorgeous. It turns out great. Now guys, I will say that you don't need to use flocked paper like what I did in today's show. I had access to it, so that's what I did. 
If you would like to get some of that flock paper for yourself, you can check out the link below for Spectro Coatings Corporation's Etsy page where you can purchase this stuff. And there is a code, I'll put it down below, to get a 30% discount from orders over $20. So they've provided me with that for trying out their product here on the program. Guys, you can make this with regular paper, you can use flock paper, you can use material if you want it. Give it a try, experiment a little bit. And like I said, don't be discouraged if you don't have a Cricut machine because you can cut it out by hand or if you can cut a square, you can make these flowers. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's program. Something very different. I don't really do crafty things like this very often on the show, but honestly, what a spectacular idea. Um, all kinds of uses from gift cards to like centerpiece decorations, uh, well, how about decorating a box? Or how about for a, a gift? Instead of using a bow on the gift, you could put one of these flowers on it instead. There's all kinds of um, applications that I'm sure that you can think of extras that you could do to use these flowers around for your little crafty things and that sort of thing. I don't know, I kind of have fun with them. Not very often I do the crafty stuff, but you know what, once in a while it's a load of fun. Guys, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell and then you won't miss notifications of future episodes of the show. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. I hope you're going to try this for yourself. And more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.